Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart, and today we're out here at the barn, and guess what? We still have not processed our remaining nine Cornish Cross chickens, okay? We still have not done it, and I'm going to tell you why. Y'all stay tuned. All right, you all, so I'm getting ready to come in here with my Cornish cross. And listen, y'all, now I'm going to tell y'all, you know those stories you hear? Did you get off the, the pan? Move. You know those, those stories that you hear uh, about the chickens, the Cornish cross, the meat birds? If they get too old, a certain age, they start dying off, they can't live as long. I mean, it's so many myths out there, right? Jack, get out of there. Always something with him. But I'm just out here feeding them, okay? I'm going to show you our birds. Weeks ago, maybe about three weeks ago, we did a processing video where we actually processed some of our meat birds. Um, we processed all but nine that day, and um, we decided to let them just kind of grow for an extra two weeks because we thought they were small. So we left them for two weeks. But it's been much longer than two weeks now. I mean, we just kind of let them continue to, to grow. Reason being is because of all of the things that you hear about Cornish Cross, you know, after they get a certain age, then they start dying of heart attacks. Their legs start breaking. They get so big so fast till they just can't live past a certain age. And y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, our birds look fantastic. Our birds, we got them April, no, March 30th. We posted the video April 1st. Um, and they were approximately two weeks old then. We'll just say some was two weeks, some was a week, you know. And, no, maybe they were two weeks and we just had more females than males and the males were the larger of the bunch, okay? But now here we are, July 16th, okay? And our chickens are 16 weeks old. And y'all, they look good. They not sick. <laughs> They're not passing out, dying of heart attacks. Their legs are not breaking. They look fantastic. And I'm going to show you our Cornish Cross because we were really worried. You know, oh, no, their legs are going to break if we let them get too big, too fast, too old, you know. None of that. And now here's the thing. Here's the thing. We don't let them eat. 12 hours on and 12 hours off. We don't do them that way. We feed them like we feed our other chickens. So to us, you know, yeah, it takes a little longer for them to grow out. And maybe that's the trade-off. But they look good. They look healthy. And now we can process them here, 16 weeks old. We can process them, you know, and really this was just a, like an experiment for us to see what would happen, ooh, <laughs> if we let them get a certain age, you know, a certain size, what's going to happen, you know. So, I'm just going to show you our meat birds and how good they look. All right. So, look at our birds. Look at them. Don't they look good? They look so healthy. Look at their legs. Do they look like they're in pain? <laughs> like they're in agony. No. Look at our rooster. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? And look at how big and healthy he looks. Look at him. Just a proud little rooster, isn't he? So, yeah. I mean, they are growing well. They are looking well. And we are feeding them the uh, starter grower feed which is the 20 percent protein over the pellets which were only 16 percent protein so now we're feeding them starter grower and yeah it's making a difference 
in their um their weight i believe it is you know but they are looking really good and really healthy they're looking really good and really healthy and they are 16 weeks old a little more than 16 weeks okay so they're looking really really good at 16 weeks old and i dare say if we let them continue to grow maybe for i don't know another three weeks or so that they would still look just as healthy they would still look just as good so yeah our cornish cross look good y'all look at them look at them just healthy looking birds healthy looking birds no deformities at all so they're looking really good look at them just walking around proud and happy <laughs> yeah look at big bird right there looking good so what do y'all think about this what do y'all think about this experiment this process of we're feeding them normally you know we don't feed them a whole lot of feed you know, we feed them like we feed our other chickens once a day, and they grow slower, but it's, to me, it's more natural that way, you know, to me, to let them grow this way, you know, instead of trying to, you know, you know, chickens are just going to eat anyway, they'll keep eating, but instead of just letting them, I mean, just overindulge, you know, we are feeding them the way we feed our other chicks. And I'm going to be honest with you, um, feeding them this way and feeding our other hens this way. Y'all saw the eggs that we getting. I mean, look at the previous video from my Broody Mama Diaries. We get a ton of eggs. So we're not like giving them a, a barrel of feed and let them have at it. <laughs> no, we, we give them feed a certain amount every single day. And look all of them they're good and they are healthy and we get a lot of eggs and our meat birds are growing but they're and they're growing at a slower rate true enough but man are they growing like they're growing naturally and they look good they're healthy so what we're gonna do when we get our next batch of meat birds we're gonna try the 12 hours on the 12 hours off and just see you know I, I know it's gonna make a difference I know they're gonna grow much faster because they're gonna be eating a whole lot more uh, much more often so yeah they're probably gonna grow a lot faster you know I get that you know but this works too this works too our birds are not passing out they're not dying from heart failure their legs are not breaking they look good Mm-hmm. So, I just wanted to share that with you all, and I'm going to be honest with y'all. I told Mr. Homestead at heart, I have gotten so used to seeing them out here that I'm going to dread the day when we have to process them. I'm so used to them being here. And I haven't named them. I haven't. These are all meat pies. I haven't named them. None of that. I just come out feeding water. And that's it. And I don't even like spend a lot of time <laughs> looking at them and stuff. You know, I mean, this is the most time I've spent out here with them since they've been in the barn. So, yeah, I'm going to struggle with it because now I've, I mean, look at them. I'm used to seeing them. But in any case, they have a purpose. Yeah. And so I just wanted to share that with you all. I'm going to do a video this week about those of us who like to eat meat. We like to eat chicken and turkey and lamb. And some people really hate that, you know. But then you have some people that are vegans and vegetarian. And some people say the meanest things because they choose to be vegan or vegetarian, you know. I'm going to do a video and I'm going to talk about that because I'm going to address it. I noticed that there were comments made on 
the videos of others who actually process their own meat. And there were a few comments on our meat processing video as well. And I'm going to address that, okay, in another video. But in the meantime and in between time, our meat birds are doing good. They're looking healthy. And I am loving the fact that they're looking healthy. Mm -hmm. So that's it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching Homestead Heart. If you haven't done so, look at them. If you haven't done so, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and share the video as well. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video we upload to the channel. Thank you all so much to all of our wonderful subscribers, new and existing. You all rock! Thank you so much. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, and we will see you in the next video.